Hello and welcome back for this video. In the, this video we will create a, a guide how you can set up the ELK stack. It's uh, coming from Elasticsearch and uh, uh, Logstash and uh, Kibana. It's from the Elastic company. And what we are doing here, it's uh, we're using the Elasticsearch for the search engine. And then we use the Logstash where we want to collect all the data. And uh, then we have the Kibana we are using for the user interface to uh, visualize uh, everything uh, we want to showing up. And I will uh, run this in the, in the Docker container and I'll use uh, a, a, a Git repository, uh, a kind uh, person have creating this. So I just can clone it down and spin it up and then I have completely uh, ELK stack running on my local uh, Docker environment. Before we continue, I really hope you want to subscribe my channel here to get more videos. I really hope you will smash the comments if you have any questions about this video or you get any kind of feedback. And of course, I hope you want to share this video and like it if uh, you think it's uh, worth it. So thank you and I think we are ready to begin. I speak about we will use a friendly uh, GitHub repository and I get the link here. You can see this is the link. I will add this to the description and, and thank you to, uh, to this developer. It's uh, very helpful. That's the way I can create this video and help other people with, with using the Logstash, the L ELK stack, sorry. And uh, what we're gonna do is uh, say clone and copy here from GitHub. And then we're going back and I'll just, that's wrong. Git clone and then we do it this way. It will copy all the files uh, down and we will get the docker elk that's fine and uh, you can use the the docker swarm environment like i want i have a, a swarm with the two managers and uh, three workers in my hyper v so that's the, what i want to do of course you can use the composer um, if you don't want this but uh, i love to work with the docker swarm technology so that's what we want to do Say to do docker stack deploy and then the minus c to define what we want and we say here docker stack dot yaml file and we call it elk stack press enter and then we're spinning it up you can see we have the logstash pipeline kibana configuration elastic configuration logstash configuration kibana and Kib elastic search and again logstash I think that will be nice to just see the the Docker file here, the Docker stack file. So let's cut it up and scroll it up here. You can see we have uh, Elasticsearch using the default port, uh, 9200 and 9300. If we scroll a little bit down, the lock stash here will uh, run on 5000 and 9600. Then we're going down to Kibana, it's uh, 5601. And then we just say configurations, we load the files inside and then we create a, a networks called ELK and we use it as an overlay. That the Docker, Docker Swarm, uh, uh, the Docker Swarm um, stack file. And you can see we have the change me, that's the password. I will not change this right now because we need to go inside other files to, to be sure everything it's uh, running cool so for now i will just uh, use it as a change me so let's go in for the browser i think that will be nice and uh, or we can just say local host here to to uh, to confirm the everything we run here it's, it's running okay um, And we probably get an access denied for this. We can't connect, but I'm pretty sure this is uh, working. So let's go and cancel it. And uh, I think we are ready to log in for the campaigner. So let's go up in a new tab. And this tab will be HTTP and I'll call it 20. 
5601. And we are running up here to Kibana. It should work. Kibana server is not running. It's, it's say it's not running. So we, we need to figure out what's happening and uh, why it's not running. So I think we need to change back here and see what's happening. And which the, the Kibana is. And we need to go inside here and say sudo dogger stack ls. And then we have the ELK stack here. Uh, so do Docker service stack and PS service. Okay, I can't remember that now, it's so annoying. Here we go. And we say running and running and running. So everything here is running, but something it's gone wrong. So it's not working as it should be. I think we, we need to see it's because it's running on, I, I, can, I know now why it's not running well. It's because the, the dog uh, swarm manager, it's the Kibana running on manager one, and the the Elastic Search running on worker two, and the Lock Stash is running on on the worker three. So I will, uh, I think I will run it so it's only run on a single uh, stack, so it's not getting conflicted. So let's do this. So what we want to do is say nano and Docker stack and Replicate, we have all the replicates here and I just, I know I have five one. So I think if I just do this, I'm not 100% sure, then we get a replicate of five. Save it and run it again. And just go up here and deploy the stack. And we're going back to the browser and I'll run it up again and now we are loading into the elastic stack. So that's perfect. And then we gonna use the normal username. It's uh, I just need to find here elastic and then change new. and then we should be inside it. We need to log in here to the elastic stash. And then we are good to go. So now you completed the the totally guide about how you can install the the Elastic the ELK stack from Elastic on a Docker environment. And I will show how we can change the password too, so you don't get confused. So hang on, that's that will be the the last step. So if you don't need that, you can just skip it. But now I'll show how we can change it, uh, change the password. So let's do this. So let's uh, log out again. And then we are here on the login screen. That's perfect. We're going back to the terminal. So do nano, um, no, nano dogger, not compose, stack. And then we open it and I'll just say change me. I'll say test. And then we're going out again. And for now, I'll just go inside the Kibana. And I'll just say nano Kibana config Kibana and then change me. We just say test. And then we have uh, one more. It's a lock stash config lock stash. And we have the change me 
here and change it for a test and um, then I need to remove the stack the stack when this is removed it will taking the stack down and remove everything not the locally files but it will uh, remove everything about it uh, in, in the in the swarm now when it's removed I think we can just go back here and make the deploy script again and uh, it's not I have some small issues here I think we need to remove it again and then it's service removing and then we try to deploy one more time and I hope it's working this time yes it's creating everything so sorry for the little confusing I hope you understand what's happening I will uh, run it uh, one more time here and see what's happening and it's not up and running yet okay I have figured out what's happening uh, I cannot answer you exactly what the problem is I think maybe it's uh, some bug on my local environment but what I have done it's uh, just remove uh, the stack and then I scale it down to replicate one then spin it up again be sure all the three nodes is running then I change the replicate to five and then update it again and now it's working if you know why this is not working before and working now please make a comments below in the, in the field so I can be clever um, so now let's using the username and the test as password that's what we do and then I just log in and now we're running running with the changed password so that's basically what I want to use and what I'll show you thank you so much and hope to see you next time I really hope you enjoyed this video I really hope you want to subscribe in the thing below in the right corner and uh, if you like it please hit the like button the thumbs up and share with your friends and smash the comments with questions and feedback thank you so much and hope to see you next time